What's up guys? It's September 9th, 2023. We do a breakdown of the MES. Start off with yesterday's context real quick. Bears have a strong gap down, but bulls are able to reverse it. They don't close the gap, but we do trend a little bit higher for the rest of the day. It was very rangy. I've been focusing on leg one, leg twos. One of my mentors have, has been talking about it, and the more he talks about it, the more it makes sense to from the perspective that a leg two is a higher probable trade it's, and in terms of not getting trapped with leg threes. So it's like leg one is kind of the setup. Leg two would be like the tradable leg. That's kind of how I'm taking it. That's not necessarily his words, but let's just start with the breakdown. Bar one is a strong bull bar and with a very small wick at top. I don't think that's sellers. I think that's just like people taking profits because this was a big candle. Yeah, 10 point candle in five minutes. This is a high probable, this is a high probable trade. There are two types of trade, tight RR, low probability, or high probability, bad RR. I like high probability, bad RR trades. Bar one, I think it's a good buy. It's a high probable buy. It is forcing you to buy at the high of a range. Most breakouts fail. You have to have a wide stop. Bar two is not good for the bulls. This is, bulls would wanna see at least a one point body if it was a doji. This is not good. This tells me that there are bears in the market or it could be a profit taking candle. We don't know yet. Bar three is a bull doji. That's good, decent sized body, but the wicks are bigger. So this is not a trend bar, this is a range bar. Bar four, bar four is another doji. This is a range bar and the, bar, and the bulls close at the high of the range. Bear short range highs and that's what we get on bar five. Bar five and bar six sell off to the EMA, but bar six rallies back up. This would be a good limit order buy for 50% of bar one. People who bought on top of bar one will scale in lower to average their price. And bears are selling out because they see this as support. But bears did make money in a bull trend. So this tells me this may not be a bull trend. Bar seven is a strong bull bar. This is a trend bar. The body is bigger than the wicks. Bar eight is a big doji bar. It's a range bar with a big bear body. This tells me that the trend could be ending soon. Bar nine through 12 is buying pressure and it could be seen as climactic because there are no sell, there's no selling bars. Each push up had a sell bar, one, two, three, except for bars nine through 12. So this could be the end of the run. There, I think there was a leg one, leg two move here. From the bottom of bar one, to bar three and the entry being the EMA. <laughs> yeah, so if we were able to get in on the EMA, even if we buy bar one and then buy again lower, bulls, there is a leg one, leg two here from the pullback. If you were being aggressive, oh, you would actually get a leg one, leg two from the top of bar six, so that's this is a good leg, bars um, seven through 12 would give you a leg one, leg two. That's cool. Bars 12 through 18 sell off to the EMA as we are approaching a bigger time from EMA. This is the 20 EMA, the hourly, oh, plot on the, I don't know how to say this. This is the hourly, this is a 20 hourly EMA plotted on the five minute chart. And uh, you can see there's a lot of indecision with the two, the two EMAs coming to a, a pinch. I just made that up. I don't know if that, that's not, a pinch is not a technical trade. I just came up with that. This is a triple top. Bars 12, 26, and 35 make a triple top and all lower highs. Bars 18 and 30 are lower highs, so this is a breakout mode. This is a bull flag. I was pretty bullish today and I, I paid the price. Let me show you the bull flag. We'll go here, bull flag. The reason it's a bull flag is because this pole influences the range. And that doesn't mean it can't fail because flags fail at the end, third, third legs fail. So if we have one, two, three, and it fails, and the legs are shrinking, so bulls are getting weaker. From a bear's perspective, I was not thinking that at the time of the day, I thought this was getting stronger. But now the day has unfolded. So bears are making lower highs and this is good for them. Bulls are making, bears are making lower highs and bulls are making higher lows. The market is consolidating. 
and in a triangle we get three pushes, five pushes total. One, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. This is supposed to be three. Yeah, so that makes a triangle. That is um, Al Brooks definition of a triangle and this is a bull flag triangle. Um, bull flag should have bull breakouts and we did not get a bull breakout. It failed and became a bear, a bear breakout. We can see this is the range lows here, here, and the market really was consolidating around the breakout of bar one. As soon as the last push on the triangle failed, bears come down and we start to test the bar one open for about an hour, two hours, maybe an hour. For about an hour we consolidate below the EMA but above bar one. A lot of people are getting trapped. This is a limit order market. That means you set limits at lows and you scalp out. Set sells at highs and you scalp out. You see a final attempt between the bulls, but from bars 54 to 56, or 54 to 55. 56 is no follow through. Bulls put in a, a, ver a reversal attempt. They try to push it higher, but it ultimately fails with bar 56. And this is not good because this makes the fourth lower high. You can see this give up bar. I think the market is just letting go. Of, the bear, the bulls are letting go of everything on bar 57. <laughs> bar 57 is another very high probable trade in my opinion because the market moves off inertia. So bears have momentum and I think it would be good for a leg down. We go from 56 to 58th body, the high of 62. So they don't get a leg one, leg two, they get failed. But let me see the body, if, okay. So if we just do a body from bars 57, they do get the leg one, leg one, leg two, and a reversal. Um. So yeah, I'll be focusing on leg one, leg twos because that second leg is supposed to be a good trade and I have to get my trading more consistent. This selling was tough. We could see strong buying throughout the entire leg. And I think this was trapping a lot of bulls, but they, but bulls believe we're in a range, so they're buying lows, and they're they know they're making money on the way back up. We can see what type of bottom is this. A wedge bottom should have three pushes down. One, two, and then it gets messy. Three, four, five. Michael double bottom, and bulls rip into EO. Yeah, EOD end of the day. This micro double bottom is seventy two seventy four. Bulls get a bull flag into the EMA and bears give up and we snap back up to above bar one's high. I think today was a good day. It was a challenging day. I it got the best of me. This price action tore me up today towards EOD. If you guys haven't seen this um, the short already, it'll be floating around. It had a lot of good setups. There's a lot of leg one, leg twos. Here is, so here's one, leg one, leg two. I'm actually pretty impressed that this leg two goes up from this bar. Like we don't have to go to the bottom of the pullback. People could have bought the close and got a leg two is what I'm trying to say in this type of market. That's a, that's a very good trade. Be careful buying bar one. This could be buying at the top of the range and you get trapped and we just sell. I felt strongly about this because I knew we, the previous day's context was a bull channel, so I bought high in a breakout, so it was going to go higher. It became the low. So leg one, leg two here. Here we get leg one, leg two, and I think this is like leg three. But what's interesting about this is it it was the video I watched about leg one, leg twos is it should make sense. So if it like. For instance, does this leg make sense to be a part of this leg? Or is the market transitioning, kind of, you know what I'm saying? So this is a little bit rough. I don't know exactly leg one, leg two, leg three. But if we take it from the high of this bar to the low of that bar, you have bears. You, you eventually do get paid, but it's a tough hold and you, it's to the tick. Um, let's check out. So that is another leg one, leg two trade today. Let's find another leg one, leg two trade. 
let's so let's say this is the first leg. Wow, look, even that. So this is interesting. If you guys see, this is also leg one, leg two, because, and this this trade looks easier from a holding perspective, because to get paid on this one, you'd have to sit through this double this double top. So here's another leg one, leg two. If you're fast enough on that, this box is a problem for me and I'm trying to learn how to sit out this market condition. The only time I learn how to sit it out is after it's like time to trade it again. So here we get chopped up if we went leg one, leg two for the bears, leg one, leg two for the bulls, leg one, leg two, leg one, leg two. This is a range really. But what's happening in this range is people are getting trapped. Bears are getting double, bear seed double tops, bull seed double bottoms. That creates a trap, that creates a breakout mode. This is a tight range bound market and traders should not trade it. I say that reluct reluctantly because I keep trading it. Anyway, so here we get another leg and even if you miss this breakout, we still get a leg one, leg two, which is insane to me. I didn't realize there's just many leg one, leg two moves. <coughs> Here's another one. So we so what this tells me is like I could have missed the beginning of every move and entered on a stop order, which is like just hitting market. I've been trying to trade with limits, but hit, hitting stop order and still make decent money. Let's measure these legs. Twelve. This is a hard hold. Twelve. A little smaller here. Nine. Okay. That, 10 so 12 24 34 plus 9 34 plus 9 it is oh shit 43 so we could have got 43 points a day with stop orders this might not not exactly that's maybe like 35 with stop orders because we drop a point we drop a point you guys get the picture though leg one there's some magic between leg one leg twos it's just learning how to find them and identify them correctly. I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys want to chop it up and trade charts, follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to hit the follow button on YouTube. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.